This is atrocious. This wall behind me shows all of the slaves that were owned by the Middleton family. So in yesterday's video, which is actually still today, I had so much footage for Middleton Place and there was so much history and things to see here that the video I knew was gonna get a little bit too long. So I decided to just go ahead and stop it and then continue it today. So we're gonna finish that scenic highway and byway today and do a couple of more things that are along this way that I, I think you'll enjoy. Wow, this is incredible. Look at how lush these gardens are. This is called Mill Pond, and look at all of this. This is just vegetation that's floating in the water. Wow, wow, wow. This is just incredible, guys. You can come out here and sit and just look over the pond. Holy sh there's an alligator. Sorry. I just saw him sitting there. Oh my God, that scared me. He's right there. It's incredible how beautiful it is here. And you can smell all of the flowers and the vegetation. It's got this sweet smell to it. I'm just gonna sit and take it all in for a minute. So guys, I just wanted to interject this really quickly. You guys saw me get emotional when I was in the slave quarters area in the house. Someone asked me and somebody asked me in my live stream the other day if I was affected by being on any of these plantations, being, you know, where slaves used to be. And this is my first time really being in a place where you have the slave houses and you can see their history here, you know, where they worked. I didn't actually think that that was going to happen. As an empath, I feel the energy of things a lot. Sometimes people I connect a lot with animals and nature a lot. I feel like I can feel that energy um, a lot stronger sometimes, but definitely I can feel it off of people too. I didn't actually think that I would have that reaction in there. It was really about the realization of the history and being in a place where where they were at too there's so many trees and stuff around here and you guys usually see me touch trees and I wanted to touch them but <laughs> I was actually kind of scared to touch it because I was like you know after that tree that I touched in New Orleans and I had that very emotional reaction and started crying that's never happened to me before ever with a tree ever and you know it was like I could feel that history and you know, I kept saying, like, what has this tree seen? And all the trees around there, what have they seen? The history, people dying in front of them, the, you know, back here in the south, I mean, things were burned to the ground and wars were happening. And, you know, they've seen a lot. And, you know, if they could actually see, you know what I mean by that. Yeah, so I was kind of scared to touch a tree out here. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I, I don't want to feel that, to be honest with you. I don't want to feel that energy. My point in telling you that story is it relates to what I'm doing here, Middleton Place, and seeing this history and that negative energy and how do you deal with it as an empath. So I'm learning about that. I'm reading more and more. And the more and more I learn, the more it really helps me to deal with negative stimuli in this world because I really push it away like I don't watch the news I'm off of social media now except for Instagram um but I find that to be a, a positive thing at least right now can you imagine them strolling out here in their I almost want to call it formal wear because they were so formal back then with their dresses the women and just having a lazy walk through the property it's almost hard to enjoy thinking about the slaves that worked here. I still can't get over what that lady said about how it was just the times. While I understand the statement, you know, it's so hard. They haven't really discussed like how they were actually treated here. I know that there were some slave owners that yes, it was the times and they owned slaves and that's how they made their money and they were kind to some of the slaves, but not all of them were. 
Oh, wow. This is what I was smelling, those white flowers up there. Oh my gosh, they're so fragrant. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is looking up over the property, kind of at the top of the hill where those stairs are just climbed. So I was down there at that bridge, just right over there. And you can see Middleton House right through there. He's down by the alligator. Watch out for the alligator! <laughs> What's your name? I'm Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> and? Paul. Paul. Did you guys scare him off? He, he took off. <laughs> I, we didn't even see it. I mean... Look at this tree right here. So he's starting here, then he comes up, up, get it right there, up, 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 and then he goes back down towards the water. It's a he this time. <laughs> I'm going to laugh because Maury tells me that I call all my trees she's. So this area behind me is called the flooded rice fields. So you see kind of that it steps up and down a little bit right there, and then you have the ponds behind me, the water. These were the rice fields. Wow, look at these gardens. So beautiful. It reminds me of those scenes in the movie where you see the lady and her beau strolling through the gardens with her little parasol. It's very English. Oh, I just came up on this, walking through kind of this maze. But it's a tomb. All right, guys, we are off to finish the rest of this scenic highway and byway. Everybody worries about you. They worry. He's a good girl. Do you want a treat? You were so good. I know. I'm sorry you couldn't go, Mama. But there was just so much going on, and there was alligators. You don't want to be near the alligators. Is this really street? We got to break it up. Let's break it up. I'm too big for you. There we go. She thinks I'm going to get her treat, so look at her. Love you, Lily. Look at that beautiful face. You want to go for a ride? One of the other historical places over here off the Ashley River Road is, well, one of the oldest surviving church buildings in South Carolina. It's called the St. Andrew's Parish, and it's built in the shape of a cross. This church was built in 1706, and it survived the Civil War. It survived all of the planters and the families. The church has actually been renovated several times. The first time was after a fire in the 1760s and the earthquake in 1886. And more recently, Hurricane Hugo actually did some extensive damage to the graveyards in 1989. The cemetery actually has more than a thousand graves here. We're going to go check some of these out. They're really old. I mean, some of the markings are just so faint. This one is from 1822, 1839, wow, it's incredible. We've got some newer ones over here, but then behind them, you can see in that direction, and then also over here are some older ones too. This one is from Miss Ann Blake Fuller. She died October 7th, 1851. Oh my gosh, she was only 25 years old and four months. Mm -hmm. Flag and Tomb at 2017 Eagle Scout Project. Honor. Let honor be known and not forgotten. Oh wow. That's so incredible. It has this beautiful star, United States of America. Military branches, Air Force, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, Air Force. Wow. What a great way to memorialize the fallen and the brave who fought for this country. It's beautiful. I have so many of my family members who have done that. Friends, friends of friends. Yeah. We'll never forget.
You know, I don't know if it's an optical illusion, but it sure does look like this is leaning. That wall right here, doesn't it look like it's leaning this way to the left? Maybe it's the roof line? I'm going to stand back here and take a look. It does look like it's leaning. It's not completely straight. Something's up. I can't figure out what it is. Well, guys, I am wiped. I'm actually at Planet Fitness, and I'm going to go in and take a shower because I am a stinky mess. I need a shower bad. It was emotional and sad and happy and beautiful all at the same time. And if you're ever in Charleston, make sure you come out this way and visit some of these places. There's so much history here. Even though some of it's not great history, it's still history. And it's good to understand it and to understand what happened here. So you can read it in books, but until you're actually there and walking around in it, it's just different. That's one thing that I love about doing what I do is I get to visit all of these places and really immerse myself in it. So I hope you guys are doing that too and following your dreams and out there story chasing. I will see you in tomorrow's video and you guys have an amazing evening.